Hey friends, this is Mrs. Wolfie and today I'm making another meatloaf. A chicken and stuffing meatloaf. Let's get started. Now this is going to be expensive meatloaf because this is one pound of ground chicken. I'm going to cheat. I got two pounds of expensive ground chicken and one pound of cheaper ground pork and I have a package of sausages. We also have, this was some leftover hot dog buns and hamburger buns I had so I just put them in the blender. We have a nice large onion, a red pepper and eggs. If you have sage, great, but I'm out. So let's make this meatloaf. Let's see what I can do with this meatloaf. Once again, I forgot to turn on my camera when I put it back on the tripod. In here, I have two pounds of ground chicken, one pound of ground pork, uh, two cups of breadcrumbs, and two small eggs. And now, I broke my chopper. But that's okay, I got the small size for what I wanted. We're gonna add this piece of onion in here and I'm gonna go get some more. This is gonna take an onion and a half at least, like a half onion per thing. So let's get that in there. Now I'm gonna put on some gloves because my hands don't like the feel of raw meat anymore. It makes them ache. Maybe because I keep it nice and cold, but that's just, I guess. The joys of getting old. All right, so here are, is our ground chicken, three pounds of meat, ground chicken, ground chicken, ground pork, parsley, two small eggs, or uh, I probably should have put a third in here. Yeah, I think I might put a third in because this is going to be three meals. So I'm pretty sure, uh, you know what I haven't done? I haven't salted it or peppered it. Three pounds of meat, three eggs. I should have thought of that. All right. Or two like really large ones if you're using your home fresh eggs. We don't have those here anymore. Now we're just gonna work this all together. I really wish I had some sage, but I'll have to wait till my next trip to the grocery store. You know what? I'm going to put some more breadcrumbs in this. And I'll just make more. Because this is really... Needs firming up. Yeah, that feels better. You can go by the feel. If it's too malleable, it's... There we go. All right. Now, first things first. We're going to take... Probably two-thirds of this meatloaf. You see where I'm going with this? Sorry. This is an old Parmesan cheese container that uh, I found works absolutely perfect for this. If you wet it in cold water first, but... This will do the job. We're just going to push that down in. I mean, seriously, folks, how many ways can we find to make meatloaf, right? Now, you can break these up if you want. But, no, I think these are just going to be perfect. Like this. This would have been easier if the sausages had been slightly frozen, but there we go. Okay, now. All right, here we have some more breadcrumbs. That was the last two hamburger buns. We have our minced onion. And these, some parsley, a little bit of cayenne, just to give the center a separate flavor. pepper, and a little bit of salt. 
And we're going to drop those three sausages in there. Just kind of. Okay. Let's get this all kind of broken up. I guess I should have taken the sausage out of its skin, eh? Let's take the skins out. Okay. Let's put the stuffing in. Pretty sure I didn't need all of those sausages. Ooh, I should have used a bigger pan. We may get four meatloaves out of this. Now remember guys, this is mostly chicken. So it won't be, it probably won't boil over. So there's that. Now, oh shoot, I didn't put my other glove on. Just the way we did with the bacon wrapped one. We're just going to put the rest of the meat on top in like a big patty. Yeah, I'm definitely getting four meals out of this. This is going to be the meatloaf of all meatloafs. You know what I almost forgot, folks? My red pepper. I'm gonna slice this in nice thin slices and I'm just going to layer them all the way down I knew I had this red pepper out for a reason now let's just push these down in just a little bit just a little bit I'm just going to push them down into the meat just a little bit. Now, isn't that beautiful? Hour to an hour and 20 minutes, 325. Ooh. Ah. Let's give this a moment to rest. And then we'll take it out of the pan and dish up some supper. But I'm going to be cutting this into uh, probably... I should cut it in four make them spread after the amount of money I spent on that meat. So we'll see. Alrighty. Now, let's start at one end because I want to section these up for freezing. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that beautiful chicken, sausage, and stuffing meatloaf. All right, here we go. Make Papa up his plate whoops oh it's falling apart now remember folks, this doesn't brown up like a beef meatloaf would because it's chicken and pork yeah it's falling apart but that's okay you know why it's all going down to the same place now just in case this isn't delectable enough put some mushroom gravy all over that now chick -a bow wow Oof. this is uh, chicken meatloafs with uh, sausage stuffing Yeah, I know, but people are complaining about your pie plate. I happen to like my pie plate. It keeps the juice on the plate and off the couch, which is hot, baby. The only thing I didn't have was sage. If I had known I didn't have any, I would have put. I would have gotten it yesterday. It's very good. Thank you, dear. Wait till you see what's for dessert. This is Mrs. Wolfie saying, if we have to live on meatloaf, then I'm going to get creative about it. Just saying. Take care. God bless. <laughs>